Hi, and thank you for watching. On today's show, we're going to show you the new EQ settings on Alpine's brand new CDE 265BT. As promised, this thing is packed full of all kinds of adjustments, and we're going to tell you all about them, so stay tuned. Okay, so as promised, we're going to talk about all the cool stuff that's crammed into this bad boy. Uh, if you want to know about the three-way network mode, this is not the video. We're going to have another video on this. This is just if you're doing the two-way configuration. So we'll get that out of the way for all you guys that are interested in that. Um, so This is not a network mode. This is not network mode. Okay. We're not going to talk about that one in this one. That'll be another one. Uh, this is just two-way configuration. Let's go around and okay, show, show you the EQ. Here okay. we go. Okay, so let's take a look and let's get started. So first thing we want to do is press here, which is the base button. That's going to take us in. And we have EQ presets. EQ presets are for people that don't want to get into the nine band and all that fun stuff. And they are basically 10 settings. You have flat, pop, rock, news, jazz, electric dance, hip hop, easy listening, country, and classical. All right, let's move on to the advanced, which is going to be the nine band parametric EQ. You have band one, two, three, all the way down to band nine. Okay, each band is going to give you three adjustments. Your center frequency adjusts, your width or Q, as well as your volume. Starting at center frequency adjust, how it breaks down is band one is going to be your low and band nine is going to be your higher frequencies. So band one is going to be adjustable between 20 and 100, two is 63 to 313, three is 125 to 500, four is 250 to 1K, five is 500 to 2K, six is 1K to 4K, 7 is 2K to 7.2K, 8 is 5K to 12K, and 9 is 9K to 20K. So it'll cover basically all the frequencies that you could ever possibly want. All right, so you're basically dialing into the one you want, and then hit the back arrow, and go to width. Width is between 3 and 5. 3 is going to be on the wide side, and 5 will be on the narrow side. Basically, that's going to be the difference between how much it's going to influence the frequencies next to it. I like to call it narrow or wide, or fat and boomy, or not so fat and boomy. Okay, and then you have your level. Level is going to be plus or minus 7, so you can go all the way up plus 7, or down from 7. Alright. The next thing to come up on the list is going to be source level control. This will allow you to adjust the independent volume for each source. You can turn it, in this case, you can go through and pick which one you want and turn it up. So let's say the aux isn't that loud, you can add volume to your aux, and that way it will sound, that way when you're changing sources, it's not gonna go from radio real loud to aux real quiet to CD real loud. Then you have your crossover. You have three crossovers. You have front, rear, and sub. And you have, where's it at? I got it written down here. Okay, so you have a ton of frequencies to choose from. So, and they're the same on all four, so it doesn't really matter. You have frequency as well as slope and level. And we'll go back to frequency. So, it's going to start with 20 hertz, go to 3.15, Go to 40, 50, 63, 80, 100, 125, 160, and 200, right? So you can pick any one of those frequencies, no matter whether it's front, rear, or sub. And then you have your crossover slope. It'll do flat, 6, 12, 18, 24 dB slope. And then you have your level. Level will allow you to bring down or bring up, or it starts at zero and basically will go down for whatever reason if you need to bring a speaker down uh, let's say your front speakers or your rear speakers instead of using balance and fader you can do it from the level control All right. get out of that next feature up is subwoofer on and off and then subwoofer phase zero or 180 degrees out of phase and then subwoofer system there's two settings in subwoofer system you have system one system two and basically how they break apart is subwoofer one is for level changes, level changes according to the main volume setting. 
So for example, the volume, when you turn up and down, the subwoofer will move uniformly with wherever you have it set up in the subwoofer volume. System two is going to be different from main volume. For example, in the event of low volume settings, the sub will still be audible, meaning the subwoofer will be loud. System one is the default. You'd have to play with it to figure out which one you like. I mean, most people are gonna be listening to it loud, so I really don't see the need for system two, but hey, to each his own. The next is length. Basically, length allows you to change it from inches to centimeters, depending on where you live. And then time correction. Time correction allows you to go in and adjust by the millisecond delays, I'm sorry, by inches, how many inches you are, which will in turn add into millisecond delays so that each speaker you measure from your head or ear to the corresponding speaker, put that number in, and then it'll add a delay to that speaker so that you'll get a nice cool surround sound. Power IC, this allows you to turn on and off the factory amplifier inside the unit. So if you're going with full output amplifiers, full output so amp, front rear sub amplifiers, you might want to turn off the power IC, which will reduce heat inside the radio uh, and also power consumption. Then last but not least is the MX setting or media expander setting. This allows you to go in and adjust uh, for your digital media. Um, compression so that you can make it sound better so like if you're listening to Sirius XM and you don't like the way it sounds because it's a compressed media you can go in and turn on media expander which will go in and add clarity to the music um, in the vocal and instrumental range so that it just sounds better after all that's why you bought it because you want it to sound better there's three levels to choose from so if you go in pick iPod turn it on level one level two level three Pretty simple. And then that's about it. it. Takes you back around to preset EQs. As promised, this was this this guy has got a ton of stuff, um, and you're gonna have to play with it. Now, the other cool thing about this is if you don't want to do it all from the face of the radio, you can plug in your iPhone or your, your Android phone and use the TuneIt app. The TuneIt app will allow you to do all the same things. If you're unfamiliar with the TuneIt app, I believe we have a video out on that. Yes, yes, we do. I know we do. Okay. Thanks for watching guys, you have a nice night, and as usual we do this twice a week. Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday, no, I mean, Tuesday, Sunday, Sunday. Weird. Alright, you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Yeah. Alright, they're pretty, aren't they? Alright, have a nice night guys. Yep.